the power of prayer. It is the very breath of a believer's soul. It is the lifeline connecting us to the divine. In the quiet moments of reflection, when we pour out our hearts to a higher power, we tap into a source of strength beyond our own. Prayer is not just a religious ritual. It is a deeply personal and transformative experience. Throughout history, people of faith have turned to prayer in times of joy and sorrow, in moments of triumph and despair. From the ancient Psalms of David to the humble whispers of a child, prayer has echoed through the ages. It is a universal language that transcends cultures, borders, and beliefs. When we pray, we acknowledge our need for something greater than ourselves. We surrender our worries and fears to a loving God who hears our every plea. In those moments of surrender, we find a peace that surpasses all understanding. A conduit to peace. The world we live in is often a chaotic and unpredictable place. We face challenges that test our faith and leave us feeling lost and alone. It is in these moments that we need the anchor of prayer more than ever. When the storms of life rage around us, prayer is our safe harbor. Prayer is not a magic formula for erasing our problems. It is not about dictating to God how he should fix our lives. Instead, it is about aligning our hearts with his will. It is about seeking his guidance and strength to navigate the challenges we face. Through prayer, we invite God's peace into our hearts, even amidst the chaos. We find solace in knowing that we are not alone in our struggles. Prayer is a reminder that a loving God is always with us, ready to listen and to offer his comfort and guidance. Finding Refuge in Prayer The Psalms are filled with prayers of lament, where individuals pour out their pain and anguish to God. These prayers are not cries of despair, but rather expressions of faith, knowing that even in our darkest moments, God is present. When we are overwhelmed by anxiety, fear, or doubt, prayer is our refuge. It is a place where we can be honest with God about our feelings without pretense or reservation. We can bring our burdens to Him, except knowing that He cares for us deeply. In the silence of prayer, we can find clarity and direction. As we pour out our hearts to God, we open ourselves to His guidance. He whispers wisdom into our spirits and helps us to see our circumstances from His perspective. Through prayer, we gain a new understanding of our situations and find the strength to persevere. The strength in surrender. Prayer is not about forcing our will on God, but about surrendering our will to His. It is about acknowledging that His ways are higher than our ways and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. When we surrender our desires to him, we open ourselves to receiving his blessings in ways we could never have imagined. Surrender is not a sign of weakness, but of ultimate strength. It is a recognition that we are not in control and that we need God's guidance and direction in our lives. Through surrender, we find true freedom. We are released from the burden of trying to control everything and can rest in the knowledge that God is in control. In that surrender, we discover a peace that transcends all understanding. We find the strength to face our challenges with courage and hope. Embracing the Divine In the tapestry of life, prayer is the golden thread that connects us to the Divine. It is through prayer that we experience the transformative power of God's love and grace. By embracing prayer as an integral part of our lives, we open ourselves to a deeper relationship with Him. We discover the peace that surpasses all understanding, the strength that comes from surrender, and the hope that sustains us through life's journey. As we delve into the powerful prayers in the following sections, let us do so with open hearts and expectant spirits. May these prayers become our companions guiding us towards a deeper understanding of God's love and empowering us to live lives filled with peace, purpose and divine protection. Let us embark on this journey of faith together, knowing that God is with us every step of the way. Introduction to Psalm 91 Psalm 91 
often referred to as the Psalm of Protection, resonates with believers for its profound assurances of safety and defense under the watchful eyes of God. It begins with a powerful declaration, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. This verse sets the tone for the entire psalm, promising divine refuge and fortress to those who seek solace in God. The psalm is not just a spiritual shield, it is a comprehensive covenant between the believer and the divine. It assures us that no harm will befall us and no disaster will come near our tent, a metaphorical representation of our personal space and peace. The psalmist's words are not merely comforting, they are an elemental part of Christian faith, embodying the spiritual armor one wears daily. Expanding on the initial verse, the psalm describes various forms of protection granted by God, shield, rampart, refuge, and fortress. The imagery used is both majestic and reassuring, painting a picture of an all-encompassing divine power that is both a shelter and a proactive guardian. These images help the faithful visualize the abstract concept of God's protection in a tangible and relatable way. In this exploration of Psalm 91, we will delve deeper into its historical roots, analyze its verses, and discuss its relevance to contemporary life. By understanding the depth of this psalm, believers can strengthen their faith and reliance on God's promise of protection and peace. Historical context of Psalm 91. The origins of Psalm 91 are steeped in the rituals and traditions of ancient Israel. While the exact authorship remains a subject of scholarly debate, many attribute this psalm to Moses, linking it to his experiences as a leader and protector of the Israelites. This connection is significant as it highlights the themes of guidance and security in times of peril, mirroring the challenges Moses faced during the Exodus. Psalm 91 has been a source of solace and strength throughout history, particularly in times of plague, war and uncertainty. Its verses have been recited by soldiers going to battle, by doctors fighting epidemics, and by individuals facing personal crises. The enduring power of this psalm lies in its ability to provide comfort across different epochs and various adversities. The structure of the psalm is also notable for its chiastic mirror-like arrangement, which emphasizes the central themes of trust and divine protection. This literary technique was common in Hebrew poetry and serves to reinforce the messages through a balanced and rhythmic composition. Analyzing this structure allows us to appreciate the artistic as well as spiritual dimensions of the text. Understanding the historical context of Psalm 91 enhances its significance for modern readers. It connects them with a lineage of believers who have found refuge in these words, adding a profound sense of continuity and communal faith to the individual recitation of the psalm. Analyzing the verses of Psalm 91. The first verse of Psalm 91 introduces the concept of dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. This metaphorical space is interpreted as a spiritual state of closeness and intimacy with God. It suggests a personal retreat where one can find spiritual sanctuary and protection. The imagery of abiding under the shadow of the Almighty reinforces this theme, depicting a nearness to God that shields from external harm. As the psalm progresses, it enumerates specific assurances against common fears and dangers. Verses three to six address fears of the night, pestilence, and destruction. This range suggests that the protections offered by God are comprehensive, covering varied threats that one might encounter. The mention of not fearing the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day encapsulates a 24-7 guardian presence that is both vigilant and omnipotent. Verses 11 and 12 of the psalm promise that God will command his angels to guard the faithful in all their ways. This introduces the concept of angelic guardianship, adding another layer of divine protection. The idea that angels intervene physically and spiritually to safeguard individuals resonates deeply with many believers, providing a comforting image of celestial caretakers. Through this detailed examination, each verse of Psalm 91 reveals layers of assurance, protection, and divine intervention. These promises not only comfort but also empower believers, providing a foundation of faith that extends beyond physical safety to encompass spiritual security.
Modern Relevance of Psalm 91 In today's world, where uncertainty and fear often dominate the headlines, Psalm 91 remains a vital source of hope and reassurance. Its themes of divine protection and safety are as pertinent now as they were in ancient times. For those facing modern plagues such as pandemics, natural disasters, or personal turmoil, the psalm offers a spiritual anchor. The relevance of this psalm today can be seen in its widespread use during global crises. During the COVID-19 pandemic, for instance, many turned to Psalm 91 for comfort and courage. The verses provided a spiritual framework for understanding and confronting the invisible threats of the virus, reinforcing the belief in a higher power watching over humanity. Moreover, the psychological benefits of reciting Psalm 91 should not be underestimated. The repetitive and meditative recitation of its verses can help reduce anxiety, foster a sense of peace, and enhance overall mental well-being. In a world rife with stress and anxiety, the calming and protective words of Psalm 91 offer a respite for the mind and spirit. The modern relevance of Psalm 91 extends beyond individual experiences to influence community practices. It is often included in public prayers, religious services, and spiritual gatherings, reinforcing its role in fostering communal resilience and hope. As we continue to navigate the complexities of contemporary life, Psalm 91 remains a beacon of divine protection and peace. Personal Stories of Protection Throughout history, individuals have shared personal testimonies of how Psalm 91 has impacted their lives, providing not just spiritual insight, but tangible instances of divine intervention. These stories serve as powerful affirmations of the Psalm's promises, bringing the verses to life through real-world experiences. One such story comes from a firefighter who recited Psalm 91 daily. He credits the Psalm with his miraculous survival and safety in numerous dangerous situations where escape seemed impossible. His experience resonates with the promise of Psalm 91 that a thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. Another testimony involves a woman who battled a severe illness. During her treatment, she found solace and strength in Psalm 91, particularly in the verse that promises deliverance from deadly pestilence. Her eventual recovery was a testament to her faith and the protective power she attributed to the psalm. These personal stories underscore the profound impact of Psalm 91 on individuals' lives. They illustrate not just survival in the face of danger, but also a deeper spiritual fortitude fostered by the trust in divine protection. These testimonies encourage others to turn to Psalm 91 in times of need, reinforcing the communal bond among believers who find common ground in these sacred words. Incorporating Psalm 91 into Daily Life Integrating Psalm 91 into daily spiritual practice can transform it from a mere collection of verses into a vital component of one's faith life. Regular engagement with the psalm helps internalise its promises, making its assurances a constant presence that fortifies the believer's spirit against fear and adversity. One practical approach is through daily recitation. Starting or ending each day with Psalm 91 can set a tone of trust and peace. It serves as a reminder of God's omnipresence and the comprehensive nature of his protection. This practice can be particularly powerful during personal crises, acting as a steady reminder of divine support. Meditation on specific verses of Psalm 91 can also deepen understanding and connection to the text. Focusing on one verse at a time allows for reflection on its meaning and relevance, encouraging a personal dialogue with God about the fears and hopes addressed in the psalm. Lastly, incorporating Psalm 91 into family prayers or community worship can strengthen communal ties and foster a shared sense of divine protection. This communal aspect of recitation underscores the universal appeal and reassurance offered by Psalm 91, making it a cornerstone for collective spiritual resilience. By making Psalm 91 a part of daily life, 
believers not only remind themselves of God's promises, but also live out the faith they profess. This active engagement with the psalm cultivates a deeper, more meaningful relationship with the divine, anchored in trust and adorned with peace. Introduction to Psalm 23. Psalm 23, often titled, The Lord is My Shepherd, stands as one of the most cherished chapters in the Bible, offering profound comfort and spiritual sustenance. This psalm, attributed to King David, encapsulates the essence of God's pastoral care and guidance, resonating with believers across generations for its simplicity and depth. Its opening line, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, immediately establishes a relationship of dependency and trust between the believer and the divine. This psalm is not merely a set of verses, it is a narrative of assurance and divine presence. It speaks directly to the soul's deep-seated need for spiritual guidance and protection. As we navigate the complexities of life, Psalm 23 serves as a reminder of the constant comforting presence of God, guiding us through every challenge with a gentle hand. In the following sections, we will delve into the powerful imagery of the shepherd, analyze the comforting verses in detail, and explore how this psalm serves as a source of solace in times of loss. By understanding the depth and breadth of Psalm 23, Believers can draw on its promises to find peace and resilience in their daily lives. The Shepherd's Care, Exploring the Imagery The Shepherd in Psalm 23 is a provider, protector, and guide, illustrating God's relationship with his followers. God ensures we lack nothing, leading us to green pastures and still waters, symbols of nourishment and rest. The shepherd's rod and staff guide and defend, highlighting God's comprehensive care. This imagery deepens our appreciation of the psalm's message, portraying God as an ever-present protector and guide. Verses of Comfort Detailed Analysis Each verse of Psalm 23 carries a layer of promise and reassurance. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. This verse speaks to the restoration and moral direction provided by God. Even in the darkest moments, God's presence is a constant and comforting reality. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. This verse symbolizes divine providence and protection amidst adversity. By dissecting these verses, we can appreciate their profound psychological and spiritual impacts. Psalm 23, in times of loss. In moments of loss and grief, Psalm 23 offers words of comfort and the promise of eternal care. Its verses are often recited during funerals, providing a soothing balm to the bereaved. The Psalm frames life's transitions, including death, within the context of divine companionship and eternal life. This vision can significantly alleviate the fear and pain associated with death, providing a hopeful perspective. personal testimonies of comfort. Across the globe, countless individuals have shared how Psalm 23 has brought them peace during turbulent times. A soldier once shared how reciting Psalm 23 nightly helped him maintain his calm and focus in the midst of war. Another testimony comes from a woman who faced a severe medical diagnosis and found spiritual uplift in the psalm. These personal accounts highlight the tangible impact of Psalm 23 on real-life situations. These stories inspire others to turn to Psalm 23 for solace and to integrate its truths into their own lives. Integrating Psalm 23 into Daily Practice Incorporating Psalm 23 into daily life can profoundly affect one's spiritual health and emotional resilience. Regularly reciting or meditating on this psalm can help embed its truths deeply in the heart. Reflecting on phrases like, he leads me beside still waters, can bring a sense of peace and clarity. 
Sharing this psalm with family or community groups during prayer times can enhance its impact. By engaging with Psalm 23 regularly, believers can ensure that its comforting promises are constant influences in their lives. Declaring Victory in Prayer Prayer is not just about supplication, it is also about proclamation. A declaration of victory is a powerful prayer form that acknowledges God's sovereignty. Unlike traditional prayers of petition, declarations are bold pronouncements of faith. When we declare victory, we are essentially saying, I trust you, God, to see me through this. The power of positive declaration. The words we speak have immense power. Proverbs 18.21 tells us, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Positive declarations are about shifting our focus from the problem to the solution. By declaring victory, we focus on God's faithfulness and His power to make all things work together for our good. When we change our language from one of defeat to one of victory, we open ourselves up to experiencing the fullness of God's blessings. Biblical Basis for Declarations The Bible is replete with examples of individuals who declared victory and saw God move mightily on their behalf. Joshua declared that the walls of Jericho would crumble, and they did. David declared victory over Goliath in the name of the Lord, and he triumphed. Jesus spoke to storms, commanded healing, and declared Lazarus alive. These examples illustrate the biblical precedent for declaring God's promises and witnessing his power manifest in our lives. Overcoming fear through declaration. Fear can paralyze us and prevent us from living out our God-given purpose. Declarations of victory are powerful tools for overcoming fear. When we declare God's promises, we replace fear with faith. Isaiah 41, 10 encourages us, fear not, for I am with you. God is always with us, ready to strengthen and uphold us, especially when we choose faith over fear. Declarations for Spiritual Warfare We face spiritual battles, unseen forces that seek to discourage and defeat us. Ephesians 6 chapter 12 tells us, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces of evil. Declarations of victory become our weapons in these battles. When we declare God's truth, we take a stand against the forces of darkness and align ourselves with the winning side. Integrating Declarations into Daily Life Declarations of victory are powerful tools that we can incorporate into our daily lives. Start your day by declaring God's goodness and faithfulness. When challenges arise, declare victory in the name of Jesus. As you make declarations a part of your daily life, you'll find yourself more aware of God's presence and more empowered to overcome obstacles. The Armor of Prayer Life is a battleground, and we face challenges that threaten our peace and joy. Ephesians June 10, 18 speaks of putting on the full armor of God with prayer as a mighty weapon. This armor is a metaphorical representation of the spiritual resources available to us through Christ. Prayer acts as both our offensive and defensive weapon. When we pray, we step onto the battlefield clothed in the armor of God, ready to face whatever comes our way. Deconstructing the prayer for victory and protection. The prayer for victory and protection combines praise, declaration, and petition. It begins by acknowledging God's sovereignty and declaring him as our king and fortress. We declare our trust in God as our protector and our confidence in his love. The prayer concludes with a petition, asking God to reveal himself as the ultimate victor and to fight our battles for us. Standing firm on the rock of faith. 
In a world filled with uncertainty and turmoil, it's easy to be shaken by the storms of life. We may face financial difficulties, relationship problems, health issues, or spiritual attacks that leave us feeling overwhelmed and defeated. It's in these moments that we need to remember the words of Matthew 7, verses 24 to 25. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. The rock in this passage represents our faith in Jesus Christ. When we build our lives on the foundation of his word and his promises, we are able to withstand the storms of life. The prayer for victory and protection is a powerful tool for strengthening our foundation of faith. When we declare God as our King, our fortress and our Redeemer, we are essentially anchoring ourselves to the solid rock of his faithfulness. We are choosing to trust in his power and his love, even when our circumstances seem bleak. This unwavering faith is what enables us to stand firm in the face of adversity. A shield against the enemy's attacks. The enemy, Satan, is a master deceiver who seeks to steal, kill and destroy, as stated in John 10, verse 10. He uses lies, temptations and accusations to discourage us, weaken our faith and ultimately separate us from God's love. One of his most effective tactics is to fill our minds with fear, doubt and insecurity. The prayer for victory and protection acts as a shield against the enemy's attacks. When we declare God's promises over our lives, we are essentially taking up the sword of the Spirit which is the word of God, according to Ephesians 6, verse 17. We are combating the lies of the enemy with the truth of God's word. For example, when the enemy whispers, you're not good enough, we can declare, I am a child of God, redeemed and set free by the blood of Jesus. When the enemy says, you're going to fail, we can declare, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. By speaking God's truth, we are silencing the enemy's lies and standing firm in our identity as children of God. Living a life of victory. Victory in Christ is not a destination, it's a journey. It's not about living a life free from challenges or hardships, it's about facing those challenges with faith, courage, and the assurance that God is with us every step of the way. The prayer for victory and protection is not just a one-time declaration, it's a lifestyle. When we make this prayer a regular part of our lives, we begin to see ourselves and our circumstances through the lens of faith. We become more aware of God's presence, more attuned to His voice, and more confident in His power to work all things together for our good. Living a life of victory requires us to be intentional about cultivating our relationship with God. This means spending time in His Word, talking to Him in prayer, and surrounding ourselves with other believers who can encourage us and hold us accountable. It's a daily choice to walk in faith, trusting that God is working behind the scenes even when we can't see it. Integrating the prayer into daily practice. The prayer for victory and protection is not meant to be recited mindlessly or treated as a magic formula. It's a powerful tool for spiritual warfare that should be used intentionally and consistently. Here are a few practical ways to integrate this prayer into your daily life. Firstly, start your day with it. Before you even get out of bed, take a few moments to declare God's sovereignty over your life and invite his protection and guidance into your day. Next, pray it over specific situations. Facing a difficult meeting at work, dealing with a challenging relationship. Pray the prayer for victory and protection, asking God to give you wisdom, strength, and favor. Also, write it down and personalize it. Take the basic structure of the prayer and personalize it with specific scriptures that resonate with you or specific areas where you need God's protection and guidance. And lastly, pray it with others. 
gather with a friend, family member, or small group, and pray the prayer for victory and protection together. There is power in praying in agreement. Remember, the key is consistency. The more you pray this prayer and meditate on its truths, the more deeply rooted you will become in your faith, and the more confident you will be in God's ability to bring you through any storm. Prayer, a sacred symphony. As we conclude our exploration of these powerful prayers for peace and protection, let the profound impact of their message resonate deeply within your spirit. Each prayer, a sacred symphony of words, weaves together themes of trust, surrender, and unwavering faith in the face of life's inevitable storms. Psalm 91, a fortress of assurance reminds us that even in the darkest valleys, we are never alone. God, our ever-present shepherd, stands ready to shield us from harm and guide our steps towards his divine light. The words of this psalm, whispered or declared boldly, have the power to dismantle fear and replace it with an unshakable confidence in God's unwavering protection. Psalm 23, a gentle melody of comfort, reassures us of God's constant care and provision. Like a loving shepherd, he guides us towards green pastures and still waters, restoring our souls and leading us on paths of righteousness. In moments of grief or uncertainty, Psalm 23 serves as a soothing balm, reminding us that even in the darkest valleys, God's goodness and mercy follow us always. The declaration of victory, a triumphant crescendo of faith, empowers us to rise above our circumstances and proclaim God's power over every situation. It is a bold statement of trust, acknowledging that his plans for us are good and that his victory is already won. By speaking his promises over our lives, we align ourselves with his will and open ourselves to experiencing his supernatural power. The Echo of Hope. The prayer for victory and protection, a resounding anthem of faith, equips us to stand firm against the enemy's schemes and walk confidently in the victory Christ has already won for us. It is a prayer of surrender, acknowledging our need for God's intervention and trusting in his strength to overcome any obstacle. These prayers are not mere words on a page. They are spiritual weapons, divinely inspired to equip us for the battles we face in this life. They are lifelines to the heart of God, reminding us of his unwavering love, his unfailing faithfulness, and his ever-present help in times of need. As you incorporate these prayers into your daily life, Allow their truths to penetrate your heart and transform your perspective. Embrace the peace that surpasses all understanding, the strength that comes from surrendering to a loving God, and the hope that sustains us through life's most challenging trials. A Tapestry of Trust and Triumph Prayer is not a one-time event, but a continuous conversation with the divine. It is the rhythm of a life lived in surrender to God's will, a tapestry woven with threads of trust, gratitude, and unwavering faith. As we learn to pray these powerful prayers consistently and intentionally, we will begin to experience their transformative power in every area of our lives. Imagine waking each morning, not with fear or anxiety, but with the peace that comes from knowing you are enveloped in God's loving embrace. Imagine facing life's challenges, not with dread or despair, but with the confidence that comes from knowing the God of the universe is fighting for you. This is the life of victory that awaits those who choose to embrace the power of prayer. It is a life marked by peace, purpose, and the unshakable assurance that no matter what tomorrow may bring, God is already there, orchestrating all things for our good. The Unfolding Journey The journey of faith is not always easy. There will be moments of doubt, seasons of testing, and times when the road ahead seems uncertain. But even in those moments, we can cling to the promises found in these powerful prayers. When fear threatens to overwhelm you, remember the words of Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. 
Let those words wash over you, reminding you that you are hidden in the shelter of his wings, safe and secure in his love. When anxiety grips your heart, recall the comforting words of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. Let those words soothe your weary spirit, reminding you that God is your provider, your guide, and your ultimate source of peace. Guardians of Peace When challenges arise and you feel the weight of the world pressing in, stand firm on the declaration of victory. Proclaim God's power over every situation, declaring His promises over your life, your family, and your future. Remember, the battle belongs to the Lord, and He has already secured the victory. And when the enemy whispers lies intended to steal your joy and cripple your faith, take up the prayer for victory and protection. Declare God's sovereignty over your life. Claim His promises as your own, and walk confidently in the knowledge that greater is He who is in you than he who is in the world. These prayers are not just for you. They are for those you love, for your community, and for a world desperately in need of hope. As you grow in your understanding and practice of these prayers, share them with others. Be a beacon of light, a carrier of hope, and a guardian of peace in a world often shrouded in darkness. Seeds of Resilience the seeds of resilience, courage, and unwavering faith are sown through the practice of prayer. As we water these seeds with consistent communion with God, they will take root in our hearts and bear fruit in our lives. We will begin to see situations from a heavenly perspective, respond to challenges with grace and wisdom, and walk in the fullness of God's purpose for our lives. The world needs people who are anchored in prayer, individuals who are filled with peace, empowered by hope, and equipped to make a difference. Let us be those people. Let us embrace the transformative power of prayer and allow it to shape us into vessels of his love, grace, and unwavering peace. Embrace the divine. As you go forth from this moment, carry with you the profound truths embedded in these powerful prayers. May they serve as a constant source of strength, encouragement, and unwavering faith in the face of whatever life may bring. Embrace the divine invitation to draw near to God through prayer and experience the transformative power of His presence in your life. For in Him and only in Him will you find true peace, lasting victory, and the unwavering assurance that you are never alone. Let's connect. Have a prayer you'd like to share with the community. Leave it in the comments below. Share your wisdom. We'd love to hear from you. Is there a specific type of spiritual content you'd like to see on the lifestyle segment? Share your suggestions in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring spiritual content. Engage with us anytime. Know someone who could benefit from finding inner peace and protection. Share the light of this video with them. Until next time, peace and blessings.